Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Code Vein. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off... Oh, come on. That looks like another arena. That looks very much like an arena. We're gonna back up a little bit. Unless this is one I can actually rest at. Okay, I can rest at it, and I'm an idiot. Woo! Game's gotten a little rough. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport. Actually, how far? 33% total. And we totally have some dudes that we can go and... Some dudes? Some items that we can find in there. I'm glad that they decided to give me a good damn dumb. Who's the dude? Is it though? Yes, I am the sort of idiot that will click things once and not click them again. For reasons. Anyways, one of the yeah, one of the one of one of the primary reasons I wanted to come back here is see whether or not a thanks to everyone a blood veil. Well, you attend there are a few different types of blood veil. Oh yeah, uh, one of the reasons I wanted to come back Find is see something? if anything new is in store. If there is. Nothing I particularly care for. I never looked at those uh, other ones I have here. The Knight Spear 3, the Knight Claw. These are more dexterous uh, armors, though. And I like my Festive Fangs so far. How about you? I've got a whole new. But seriously? Whole new stock? It, I got it. I like having a whole new stock. I don't think any of this is actually of any stock that I particularly need at the moment. Oh, it conceals the user when in used. Neat. Okay, so these tonics make it so as I resist blood, electricity, slow adds things, uh, cartridges. Yeah. Cartridges add to my weapon. Tonics make me resistant to that thing. Causes a slowly drained ichor to be stored inside the body. I have no clue what half of that means. Amateur boosters wouldn't be that bad of an idea, though. Come again, Sif. Well, let's talk to Io. What is it? Did I already repair this? I don't think I did. Oh, wow. Binding Vestiges. Prometheus 2 and 3 and Hunters 1 and 2. In order to make Hunter 4? I mean, it makes sense. Savvy Evasion, huh? Increase the amount of focus gained from dodging attacks. Ooh. Fully restore stamina when you're parrying an attack. See, that'd be pretty neat. Dexterity and strength up. I like that. Uh, reduces the Iker cost of weapon attacks when you are focused. Alright. Let's repair. Where am I? Am I still alive? No. I know this feeling. Come back to life again. What what happened back there? Crews, everyone was. Each test I learned something new about our world, or the state of those living in it. My feelings of guilt pierced me even deeper. Starving revenants, fighting each other for a handful of blood beads, and the ranks of the lost, swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are, are you helping me? 
these blood beads? Those men lying over there ordered you to find them, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep reverence as thralls these days. Stay safe and watch yourselves out there. Uh, um, my name is Kevin. I could give you a hand with whatever. I'll see you. Here's what I was able to bring. It's not much, but I hope it helps. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could pay you. I do this because I want to. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me if I can help with something. I'll do whatever I can for you. Kevin seems like a nice kid. I mean, a freaking shame that, uh, people happened. Ah, oh, god, that's bright. Nothing like Bloom to blind you on an otherwise perfectly fine colored, uh, monitor. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst. But with resources thin, they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy. We got like two more of these to go through, so I hope. What is it? More vestiges. Might as well go through the third one. Hanemokuro. Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless rebels. Over time. Stopping, Stopping by to by give him blood beads, blood beads became something of a routine. I mean, honestly, no harm in that. But one day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I'd given Kevin. Well, that was a shorter one. I mean, we knew this information. True commitment to his survival. And in the end, that's what killed him. What happened to the revenant that attacked Kevin? Actually, I heard another revenant attacked him for those same blood beads shortly after, and he became one of the lost. I won't let myself forget again. Seems to be a lot of uh, focus on Luis at this point, but at the same time, gotta remember that those are, you know, his things. Hey, I out. Gotta wake you. Got things to do. Uh. Oh. What is it? Got a little annoyed about these. Let's see. Revivic. Vivic. Vivification. Yeah. Returns you to last missile touch without losing haze. That's a really good one. Blood sacrifice spends your own HP to gain Ikor. A little less good. But I suppose if you're really itching for Ikor, then it's, you know, it's whatever. Temporarily increases the drain rating of weapon attacks with hunt, hunting feast. Enhanced version of blade dance. Increases attack power when you dodge enemy attacks. 
Wait. Blood Co. Prometheus. Oh, so I earned those when I would get the Hunter Vestige 4? Neat. Let's repair the Hunter Vestige 1. Oh, this is, that's right, this is Kevin's shit. Listen up. Our scouts have finally discovered the Queen's location. We're sending you in under orders to track down and destroy any lost in the area. Destroy the lost? But how? We haven't even finished our training yet. You'll learn in the field, Revenant. Protect your hearts and you will never die. Your sacrifice will help open a path to the future. ordered to take blood beads from other kids, ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before. So first it was in the military, and then he got, uh, shafted over and threatened by the covetous ones. Fun. That's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion. While I was researching the blood beads. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good. How long do blood beads last? What is it? Hi. Right. I can skip right over three and get four. Sure, all right. Because of you. Thanks, Thanks to you, Louie. Louis. <laughs> I wonder if I was able to become even a little bit like you. Goodbye. really did save him, Louis. Yeah. I believe you need a real sense of dedication before you can truly say you've saved someone. It's just self-deception to feel like you've helped after giving no more than handouts. But at the same time, 
be a coward if I only sat back and watched while doing nothing. Even if I'm deceiving myself, I have to keep fighting. And if I fail to help, I'll face up to what I've done. But I also won't let that stop me from trying to help others. That's what I've decided. I couldn't save Cruz. Even when she begged for my help, I wasn't strong enough to do what was necessary. Now, this is all I can do for her. And the world. It doesn't change what happened, or the fact that I'm responsible for Kevin's death. However, I appreciate you sharing his memories with me. Thank you. Did I just absolutely miss wherever the hell Hunter Vestige 3's other bits were? It? Yeah, I'm still missing part C. Kevin and Coco. Last new. Take care. Later. Hey. I overheard you're able to read blood code and incorporate it into your own? Yep. Fascinating. It would be an honor for you to take mine. I'm curious to see how you handle it. Oh. Hermes. Strikes a fine balance between melee attacks and a variety of useful gifts. The depths are a complex of over the mist and the law. It's only natural that people the depths. Yeah. This is all we've got for available routes. Okay. Your luck. Well, now I'm curious what the Hermes is. Uh, balance between melee attacks and variety of useful gifts. Okay. How did I? Oh, right. I do so at the missiles. Man, he's menacing. All right. Blood impact blasts away foes in an area with a shockwave caused by the release of condensed ichor. It's a mind ability. Swallow Cutter. Unleash a, an extremely fast attack in the blink of an eye. An offensive skill performed with two-handed sword and a hammer. Mine. Right, yes. Stun resistance. Floating light to create a ball of light at your feet. Stun removal cures you and your partner of stun. Best used to block the effect be before being afflicted. Uh, fires projectile of freezing ice. Increases strength. Like, why would I not take that? Steady bulwark. Temporarily increases weapon defense against physical attacks. Red evidence greed. Increases the chance of items dropping from defeated revenants. This? Okay, I need Hermes Vestige 2, but this would be pretty damn good to get if I want to... Do uh, old world materials, Foreman. Focus Carnage reduces the rate at which the focus gauge is consumed by attacks while you are focused. And Heroic Fang increases damage dealt by charged drains. Blah, blah. I'm just curious. Oh, wait, that's right. I have to... I have to learn it, master it, in order to use the strength up. Max out proficiency. Oh, it requires five of those. You know what? Worth it. Then I'm guessing I need to do thing with the swallow cutter, too. Again, I could probably just swap out to the Hermes, but eh. Swallow Cutter. And then we'll replace... Uh, I think we'll replace Tenacious Fang 
The damage dealt by during attacks performed after a launch attack. Now I just want to see what it does. Yeah, it's just a really freaking fast. Just a little swing. I like it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it in lieu of the other attack I had, but you know, still. Um. Yeah, we could continue the Howling Pit, or I can try to continue exploring the dried up trenches. Because I want to find those other. There was one other vestige that was in there. I just have a, absolutely no clue where the hell it was. I, you know, I know I missed something. Because this entire area is not mapped. Wait, did the dude just drop something over? Damn it, Yakumo. Again. The time that someone will even accidentally push me over the side. That's going to be the time where I suddenly decide, you know what? I think I'm, I'm good without uh, playing with any companions or the sort. Don't remember that sound. I can remember you. Oh, hi, big guy. Ow. Alright. So that's two vestiges around here that I've not been able to find. One up there and one back where I eventually found my way through. No harm in being prepared. Ow. Dude fired faster that time. God, yeah, did do the re yeah re refreshable things just provide absolutely trash healing, and that's the point. Like, is there a way of going get better punk? Oh no, it's one of these guys. That was one of uh, Davis's crew. Ooh, region activator. Raven fatigues. Can't wear them. Also, that activator. Enhances regenerative powers. Hey, it's that thing that I was really hoping for this entire time. Wait, was all... 
Okay, I can't say was that all that was down here because A, new armor that I'm honestly probably not going to wear, but still new armor is cool. B, regenerative powers. Hell yeah. Probably should have came down here this entire time first. That said, good to know that I don't have to go all the way down there. I absolutely hate this place though, Jesus. This is death. That's bad. This is, I believe, also death. Yep. And this is not death. Ah, shit. That's it. Suppose I had that in hand. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Yeah, no, I officially have no clue how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. Wait. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a gun. You bastard. I was supposed to come... Over here this entire time. You laughing. Okay. That's a lot of things that are going to want to push my crap in. Okay. Those guys are clearly the dudes that are in front of the thing that I want. What is that? Ah, just no one of these dudes. Is there a point to this area? No, dude was just in chill, uh, chilling and enjoying the vibes. All right. And I murdered him in relatively cold blood. All right, in which case, I guess the next area is that. No, not that way. The very clearly an ambush area over here. Dang it. Think we're good, buddy. Ah, yes. A dagger. You're expected to pull your own weight in the squad. Dark Seeker Vestige. You are not what I was expecting. Do not tell me that I could have easily accessed this ladder.
Oh, hello. Well, this is for part of the surrounding map. Which is both a yay and an oh god, there's there's more. Where the deuce is that supposed to be then? That's a hell of a view though. Alright, well, uh, that helps a little with the map. But I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I will really, really want to find that other vestige before we make any more progress. So, gonna work on that. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.